next lesson is going to look at the Pixlr interface and tools. When you first open Pixlr, you're confronted with the choices to get an image into your computer. If you want to use Open Image from a library, then you need to sign up for a Pixlr account. And a Pixlr library account means that you can save your edited images directly into the cloud, to Pixlr's cloud. And it can create folders. There's a new folder there where you can create a folder and save your images into that folder, trash them, edit them. You can also connect your Pixlr account to other accounts. So you could connect it to Facebook. So any pictures that you have uploaded to Facebook can be opened in Pixlr and saved back into your Facebook account. You can connect your Flickr account and create a folder on Flickr where you can save pictures into it. Or you can connect your Picasa account. So if you haven't connected your account, that's the message that you're given. You have to click this button and connect Pixlr to those accounts. And if you're wanting to use the cloud libraries, then that's a good option. You can also open an image from your computer or create a new one, uh, open an image from a URL. So in this case, I'm going to open an image from a computer. And so we can look at the actual toolbar, so it's a picture. The toolbar on the left is the main tools, editing tools. If you hover over one of the tools, you'll get the tool tip so you know what the tool is. Um, many of them have additional functions up here. So as soon as I pick the brush tool, then there are more options up here that I can change for that brush. So clicking here gives me the option to change the, the brush size and the type of brush, the spacing and the hardness of the brush. Click away to, to close it. Uh, every one of these tools just about has a new menu. So when I pick that brush tool, I get some more options. The clone tool, the clone tool, there's different options. Uh, the navigator on the right is used to zoom in and out of pictures. So it's a, a little bit easier to zoom in and out than trying to go to the view menu and zoom in and out from here. The layers will uh, let you move layers around and, and create and edit images using layers. History, every time you do something, it creates a history uh, event. So that the first thing I did was open an image and then I went to the eraser tool. Now, if these things are not there, accidentally closed, you can go back into the view menu and put them back. So in the view, uh, zooming in and zooming out, you've got your different um, Windows, Navigator, Layers, History and Tool Options. And the tool options are this is this bar up here. So if I now go back to the brush, there's nothing here because I've just closed that view option. Tool options puts it back. All of the functions are in the toolbars. Language, if you want to change it to a different language, so you want all of your menu in French, you can change the language. So all those menus are in French back to English and we'll look at the rest of them as we go through the lessons. So that's all for this video. See you for lesson two.